G'day guys, Calvin from the Cartoon Company. I'm assembling the blue engine to go in the boat. And I've just spent a few minutes doing some wiring. Uh, okay, it was more than a few minutes. I took a day to make all the stuff actually just fit into the box, but it all fitted. So let's have a look at what I've done. And then I'm going to assemble it all up. So we've chosen to use a Link Monsoon. It has a built-in map sensor, so I've had to run a vacuum line in there. And I've built this loom out of uh, Raychem DR25 heat shrink. This is the whole loom for the engine. It has coil on plug. It has grouped injectors. The coil's a wide wasted spark. Power feed into it. Water temp throttle position sensor. And if you remember correctly, I left that out because I put in a uh, 1UZ VVTi, 3UZ, 2UZ crank trigger wheel. On the engine itself, we have a big main power cable and I'm yet to run the earth. Comes up, flows through and down to the starter motor. Down in there. There's a start trigger coming up and I've actually put a big earth wire coming up as well. That, that's going to come up and onto the, onto the top of the manifold because I've put the main earth in, in the middle of the uh, plenum. Down here, I've got the power supply going to the alternator and we're fused up in here. So 100 amp for the alternator and that 50 amp is for everything going into the box. New temp sensor, and you'll notice I'm going to get in and fit all this loom up. Coils. Wiring loom. ECU. We have the loom going in. Comes out of our box, through. It's enough to move the box through the valley. Distributes out to injectors. Tucked along the inside of the rails, coils, we're using the Yaris coils on this one, and it's held in by these leftover brackets from where the spark plug leads went. Alternator wiring is included, so there's the control wires down for the alternator. Crank angle up in the front here. And we're still running a cam angle because I intend to run the semi-sequential. Coils on this side and we've got an idle speed to go on once the top goes in. Cold start. Well that was removed. And in this box I put the ECU. Relays for two fuel pumps. A bilge pump a start relay and ECU and uh, coils, fuses, you see this all lifts out, you can actually service it, get at it, and we plug in to the dash through there, bilge pump through there and the fuel pump around the back here. So it's tight in this box. But it does all fit. We'll get a little bit of Velcro to hold it in there. We have it fitted. I think I showed you. It is possible to get everything out. You can just uh, lift it all out. There's a lot of wiring in there. But it's quite serviceable. We have a plug poking up for the coil on plugs. Wires coming out to the injectors. They're along the inside of the fuel rails. The aftermarket two wire idle speed control. The wires for the coils going through these front holes. I put some battery cable on so that can be inserted appropriately. Up to the TPS. 
air temp tucked in the throttle body. Most of the action's happening in under the middle of there. I even managed to run the vacuum line in discreetly. So I'm pretty happy with the progress for today. Took me, took me most of the day. Set it up, hoses on. I had to run the hoses for the uh, heat exchanger that dump into the exhaust manifolds. I have done a full I have done a full setup video on this engine. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested in what I've done, go check it out. I'm gonna wire up the dash next. So that's gonna be a Microtech dash. We're gonna put that in a separate video, a bit of an instructional video because it's a good option for guys running a link to run a Microtech dash as a, as a cheap option. I finished some dash wiring for this boat. We'll have a look at our dash now. Check check that out so a little microtech dash all configured all set up i've done another video on setting that up so this is the box to go under the dash it's got a can hub in it some fuses and the outlets for uh, you plug in the main dash here that of course will be mounted on the boat i've got these wires here and they actually change the fuel tanks. So this boat has got dual fuel tanks, each with their own EFI pump in it. There's gonna be a little switch on the dash, which I didn't order. Forgot to order, we're okay. Um, but it now enables you, not only does this switch the solenoid, which ensures the fuel return goes back correctly to the right tank, but it also swatches the fuel pump operation as well. Tried a little bit of trickery, it did work. I'm really happy about that. And it also means in a boat, you've got two fuel pumps, so you're gonna get home. The whole setup is designed as to get you home. Individual coils, so if one coil dies, you've got seven others. If one bank dies, or, or one pair, you've still got six cylinders to get you home. It's designed to be really simple. It's pretty much ready to go onto the ground and be fired up and run. Can you see how hot it is in here today? Air temp of 35 degrees. It's taking a little bit extra to warm that water up. It sets a different color, showing that it's actually cold. So that's the warning color. So it will show that color until it gets up to the correct temperature. This box is connected via a big 12 pin plug. And I knew I was pushing the limits running my CAN bus, my communication through that cable, but it's worked. It was a bit of a challenge. There was a couple of little funny things in the setup that I'd forgotten about, funny numbers, but I've got it done and it's working. This engine, Very cool. This blue engine is ready to run. Actually, I've already had it running. I chucked a little bit of engine start into it, hit the go button, and it coughed away and started up and ran. And I ran it up just before lunch, just gave it a check over, put some fuel into it, and warmed it up. And it actually, it came up really well. I was, I was really, really happy with it. I've just gone and got the laptop, because it was just running on a tune that I dumped in from the white van that I did. And I modified it for the different trigger wheel, the 36 minus 2. And it's on the same settings as a, a VVTi 1UZ. I will, however, be checking that timing. Because it, it always pays to double check. As per normal, petroleum. So this one, you can see there is a garden hose running into the bottom of the heat exchanger. The link is in its little box, and there is some silica gel that'll help soak up any moisture that might get in there in the future. Of course, we can't get the, the tuning cable out with the lid on, so that's why the lid is off. Just, uh, I had a 
a bit of interest in how I've sealed this up. So I've got these flange mounted DT plugs. So that's uh, your Deutsch plug there and there. And the main engine harness, whilst it's wrapped in Reiki, goes through this gland. Done up reasonably firmly and the vacuum hose has gone in the same way. You can see the wiring's all very tucked away. Covers are over because I used the, the Yaris coils. Alternator fitted up. We have got a little bit of temp. And over here, we have a Microtech DAC has been set up. Got an alternator right like here. Got a feeling I've got fuel pump on test, not on fuel pump. This one is for a bilge pump output. The bilge pump will plug into this plug that's tucked under there. This is fuel pump wiring there. And it's a big plug because we've got the dual tank thing. Right, let's find some water and start it up. Fuel pump relays. So I had a mate helping me out this week and I said, do you think I'm going to need diodes in this? I, I've got a feeling there might be a back feed to my two fuel pump relays and they switch between the tanks. And he said to me something really deep. It was, hey, you could put diodes in and it would just work. Or you could not put them in and learn something. I didn't put them in. And I learned something. I learned not to listen to that mate because it needed diodes in it. Right, moving along. There is water coming out my exhaust. I really couldn't have crammed anything more into that little box, could I? But it is a really nice feeling when it all fits into that little box. So we've got the fuel pump there we've got a laptop there turn the ignition on got the dash the fuel pump makes a wiggle shows me it's running and I touch this on here Back to the customer, be fitted. 
and we can do some voting.